James Barnes and this week I'm at Arc Cinema to talk about the brand new release, Moonfall, out this Thursday the 3rd of February. Moonfall is the big budget spectacular film directed by Roland Emmerich. Who is Roland Emmerich, I hear you ask? Who is he? Who is he? I don't know, you don't know, well guess what, he's not a household name like Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, all that other gentleman, Quentin Tarantino, but he's definitely made some big films in the 90s and 2000s. While his name might not actually ring any bells for you, pew, pew, his films certainly will, and you'll know exactly what to expect when going into Moonfall. So Roland Emmerich's first big Hollywood blockbuster was Jean-Claude Van Damme's Universal Soldier, which came out in 1992. Ha! Then it was quickly followed up by Stargate, which came out in 1994, starring Kurt Russell. But it was in 1996 that catapulted Roland Emmerich into the big leagues with Independence Day, starring Will Smith and Jeff Goldblum, which is actually still Roland Emmerich's biggest, highest film. Cha-ching! Let's take a look and remind ourselves what a mega hit Independence Day was. Roland Emmerich followed the monster hit that was Independence Day with an actual monster, Godzilla. Now it hasn't aged very well at all, but it was a huge film that spawned music videos and toys and lots of other stuff. Let's take a look back at how much of a monster hit Godzilla really was. Ah. the day after tomorrow. Everybody got a little bit cold and had to put on some coats. And guess what? A young Jake Gyllenhaal was in it and it grossed $550 million. Here's a clip. The basic rule of storms is that they continue until the imbalance that created them is corrected. Mr. Vice President, if we don't act now, it's going to be too late. Exactly are you proposing, Professor? Evacuate. the people in the north. I'm afraid it's too late for them. If these people go outside, they will freeze to death. That storm is just going to get worse. I will come for you. Do you understand me? In 2009, Roland Emmerich actually took the disaster movies to another level with 2012. There were earthquakes. There were volcanoes. Where does he take it from here? The moon! That's right! A rather lacklustre and unwelcome sequel to his biggest hit came with 2016's Independence Day Resurgence. Will Smith didn't want any part of it, instead he did Suicide Squad instead. Critics didn't like it, people didn't like it at all. How about we have a look at this one? I see them in my dreams. They're coming back. So here we are, it's, oh, shh, it's 2022, and Roland Emmerich has gone back to what he does best, an all new original global disaster movie in which the thing that threatens the earth is the moon. Oh, don't worry, it's got no werewolves in it. It's got Halle Berry, it's got Patrick Wilson. The plot is as dumb as the title suggests, but oh boy, is it fun. You'll struggle to find a more entertaining movie this summer. Moonfall is out this Thursday. 
Here's the trailer. Enjoy! What you're about to see, only a handful of people have ever seen before. The technology, it's light years ahead of us. There's no need to panic. What would Elon do? We're planning a mission to attack it. There's a high probability that this is a trap. Hang on! I'm gonna get you home! Yes! Moonfall, in theaters and IMAX February 4th.